Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can create a Halloween image using a 3D objects I downloaded from pixelscovid.com. First of all, I created my uh, image document uh, with simple uh, black uh, background and now I will add my first object I downloaded from pixelscovid. I need shadows and I need a uh, high res. I will rotate it and I will move it. Just like that. Now I will bring another object and download it for pixel script. Same. Um, I need shadows and I need high res. Um, and I will rotate it, move it, and I will resize it using um, a free transform tool. Beautiful. Now I will bring another 3D object and download it for pixel script. Same here, I need high resolution and I will rotate it. I will resize it using free transform tool and I will move it. Click OK and I will move um, my top layer under my chair layer. So it will be just behind uh, the chair, just like that. Now I will highlight my top layer and I will um, create empty layer using um, a pen tool. I will create simple pass just like that and filter render flame. Here you have uh, many different options to create any flame you want to click. OK, I will delete uh, my pass. Let me zoom in and I will move my flame just like that. I will create, uh, apply a layer mask using a black um, brush with black color on it. I will erase uh, edges of my flame just like that. Now I will duplicate my flame. I will move it. And also using free transform tool, I will rotate it just uh, to create a effect of different flame. Definitely we can create um, a different flame, but I don't want to take your time because I still have a layer mask. I will switch to brush tool. I will uh, clean up edges of my flame just like that. And I will duplicate this layer and it will be my third flame. Again, I have a layer mask. I will clean up edges just like that. What we will do right now, I will select my um, top um, 3D object layer and I will add um, exposure uh, adjustment just like that because um, we have um, a light source uh, coming out of our uh, candles uh, we will uh, create uh, this light effect using our exposure adjustment because I'm applying adjustment all the time as a separate layer I can do anything I want to now so I'm still on my exposure layer. I'm switching to a gradient tool with um, black to transparent. And I will simply add light uh, to the, uh, some parts of my uh, 3D objects, just like that. What I want to do now, I will uh, switch from um, black to white. I will bring opacity of my um, gradient tool down and I will uh, paint back uh, on my adjustment layer, just some parts of it. Just like that. Now I will highlight uh, my top layer and I will bring another adjustment layer. It will be a color lookup 
and I will bring, I will apply a full color look and I will bring opacity of my adjustment down. Just like that, kind of a dreamy effect. What we can do now, uh, we can bring um, Adobe Paper Texture any texture you want to work with. Let's see uh, this one first. I'm not sure if I will use it, but still. Free transform tool. I will resize it. And I will uh, change a blending uh, mode for my layer. Darken. Lighten and I will bring down opacity of this layer. Just like that. Let me zoom in. I will bring down opacity more. Or, yeah, like that. And voila, our image is ready, guys. So we used um, 3D objects I downloaded from Pixel Squid. That come also, we used uh, Adobe Paper Texture Pro and we used Adobe Photoshop um, CC and a vacuum tablet. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye.